Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. And this is a very beautiful energy. I do see you connecting with someone who is thinking long term, someone who feels a mutual um, emotional connection with you. And they do see you as someone who they can have, you know, a lot of um, romantic bliss, emotional fulfillment and um, settling down energy. They do see you as someone who they could settle down with long term and they feel very emotionally fulfilled with you. They feel very safe with you. Um, I do see a lot of mutual love and um, just a very happy energy. This is really such a happy energy to have in a love reading. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Magician. So this is Mercury Energy, Gemini, Virgo Energy. Next we have the Two of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And finally we have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so I do see here with the Seven um, of Pentacles and this Magician um, energy, there is a very empowering energy here and high um, manifestation energy. So this is an energy of making things happen. Um, also planting seeds. Seeds have been planted for this connection with the Seven of Pentacles. And I am seeing um, with this Two of Wands, you know, people thinking long term, seeing the future of this connection, making plans. This is actively planning the future and, um, you know, acting on that with the Magician card. So this is something that will be realized. This is something that will be made um, tangible. This is definitely concrete plans being made for the future. This person is very serious about this connection. So I do see them um, ready to take action to um, make these plans and these goals happen. Um, there is also a sense with this Two of Wands energy that this could be a person who is of a different background than you or they could be from a different um, country or um, part of the world. There is something different about them. Um, or they could just have a different mindset. But I do see um, a lot of um, planning with that energy there. It, it could even be that you met this person online on a dating app and they were from another country or something like that. Um, but I do see seeds having been planted. So the, there, this has a very rooted um, energy about this connection. It's very well rooted and it's very stable. And um, it is something that is slowly but surely going to be something that is growing into something very long lasting, very long term, something very resilient and powerful. And I do see also unconditional love with that 10 of cups. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Aries.
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. This is very abundant energy. I am seeing here both partners here are very stable. There is um, an emphasis on grounded, rooted people who are stable, um, who have a lot to bring to the table. Um, they, there is matching energies here. And I do see you both knowing your worth, both having a lot of self-respect and dignity and both respecting each other both valuing each other both seeing each other as somebody who is um you know on your level so i do see a mutual um empowering energy here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this aries okay so the first card we have here is the knight of cups water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy next we have the king of swords air energy gemini libra aquarius energy and finally we have the queen of wands fire energy aries sagittarius leo energy okay so i am seeing here that um there is a um it's almost a cutting straight to the chase type of energy no nonsense energy with this king of swords so um somebody here is ready to make concrete plans and to follow through on them there is a seriousness about this um and i do see this person is committed they have planted seeds and they want to make this happen they want to take the actions necessary to do this um i do see this person also coming towards you um very romantically romantically with this knight of cups they have an offer they are um coming from a place of love and there's uh, um i like the fact that there is also you know stability it's also grounded it's not just an emotional or charming you know it's not just words it's it's very practical this person is thinking practical and um they want something stable they are seeing you as this queen of wands and they are thinking very highly of you they they see you as somebody who um I do see also seeing you as somebody who brings them joy um, with this yellow energy, very solar plexus energy. And um, they do um, see you as someone who's very confident, somebody who, um, you know, they could really see themselves settling down and having a happy life with. Um, with that two of ones, they could even see themselves traveling with you. Um, there is a sense of them wanting to include you in their plans, wanting to make plans with you and um, putting you on a pedestal as well, thinking very highly of you and respecting you. Okay, so Aries, I am going to pull out an oracle card for you. Okay, so the card says adjustments are required third quarter moon okay so i am seeing a lot of planning needing to be made still being made um this person is definitely um focused on making this happen um they are even focused on the small details with this king of swords energy um but i am also seeing that it's almost like things are still in the works with the seven of pentacles but this person is determined to make this happen they are planting the seeds have been planted and they are trying to manifest this ten of cups with you they are focusing on the small things and they are willing to make the necessary adjustments or anything that is required I, I do see this person going the extra mile and um doing it adding to it making this connection happen because they are seeing long term they are seeing emotional fulfillment abundance happily ever after energy okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you aries Okay, so the card says purity cheerfulness and innocence the present moment is filled with joy and happiness if you are attentive you will see it okay so i do see here that this person is really 
focused on the end goal and um, making this happen. They could even at times, um, you know, feel like it's not happening fast enough. They are making plans. They are putting things in into um, progress. Um, there is a need for them to. I do see that this person sees you as somebody who eases their mind. They see you as a source of cheerfulness. They see you as a source of joy with this yellow energy. They do. Um, there is something about you and your energy that just really uplifts this person and makes them really want to keep um, trying, keep um, putting plans into action and um, manifesting this abundance and this Ten of Cups energy with you. They really do see you as um, somebody who's just, um, I see, you know, somebody who brings joy, um, who radiates a light and, and um, they really appreciate this about you. Um, they, 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 this is how they see you as a cheerful energy in their life okay so this is what i'm seeing for you aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries